In the last video, we talked about the overall approach to this problem using the shooting method. If I kind of list things in terms of steps, our, our first step would have been to guess alpha. Our second step would be to calculate a temperature profile and based on that guessed value of alpha. And uh, step three would be to evaluate how good the guess was by looking at f of alpha minus um, f of alpha being defined as the temperature at r equals 1 minus the correct number of 300. We would actually have to iterate this, and the problem asks us to use false position. In this video, I'm not going to talk so much about the false position method. I'm actually just going to focus on if we have a guess for alpha, how do we actually calculate the temperature profile? So in fact, I'm going to talk about how to use fourth order Runge-Kutta using a value of alpha. In other words, the temperature at r equals zero, that's this, as well as the temperature, um, or sorry, the other condition we're going to use is actually the derivative of temperature at r equals zero, um, but then once you're done calculating Runge-Kutta, you then have a basis for comparing uh, to the temperature at 300. So this needs to now be solved as an initial value problem. So let me actually copy this. So the other initial value is going to be T at R equals 0 equals alpha. So the first step in order to use further to run the is going to be to actually put this in standard form for an IVP, right? Because if we guess alpha, we now have an IVP. So notice that this is not standard form, first of all, because we have a second derivative. We have things other than first derivatives on the left-hand side. So let's actually define Z z equals dt dr. That means that dz dr is going to be the second derivative. And so this equation is going to become dz dr um, plus 1 over r z plus s equals 0. So if we can just move um, all these terms to the other side, we'll get dz dr equals minus s minus 1 over r times z. And we need... Um, we need a second equation, and that is going to be this one. Uh, so we're going to have dt dt dr equals z. Now, I just feel like putting t on top, so I'm going to define <clears throat> my vectors this way. So I'm going to define y, my y vector, as being tz, and notice that the boundary conditions will actually define y of 0. So alpha is my guess for t, my z, which is dt dr, um, is actually going to be 0. And my standard form f of y is going to be f of r comma y is going to be z and minus s minus 1 over r times z. Now, I'm actually going to stop here in this video because I'm going to switch to a computer in order to actually calculate this temperature profile.